But we will go on to heat race number two. And the heat race will look like this. Dylan Subert in 1S. On the inside, row number one, 128. That's Marshall Willing to the outside in row number one. Kennedy Klokas in number eight. Starts on the inside of row number two. Colin Haas in 17 starts to the outside. Trevin Bush in 611 starts inside of row number three. Cam Panitsky in 22 to the outside. And Colin Subert in 16S starts on the inside and only row number four. The green flag flies for heat race number two. Great start for Cam Panitsky. He'll take over the third spot from sixth. Haas leads lap number one. It's Colin Haas in 17. Dylan Subert runs in the second spot. Cam Panitsky third. Marshall Willing fourth. Slight contact deep in the field, and that cart number 16, it's Colin Subert, will come to a stop on the exit of turn number four. Couldn't do it without all of these incredible sponsors here at the Thunder Hill Speedway, like the Timber Inn, or Auto Value, or Keys Chevrolet. Haas brings us back to the green flag. Paninski with a great start. Paninski looks to the inside of Subert. Give Cam Paninski the second spot in front of Dylan Subert. Battling deeper in the field for that fourth position. That's the 128 of Marshall Willing and Trevin Bush in 611. They sort themselves out. Give the spot to Marshall Willing. Bush once again to the back bumper through turn one and two. Bush unable to make work on the 128. Here comes Bush once again to the back bumper. Marshall willing to strong out of turn number four. Now down into turn one and two. Now to the outside goes the 611 of Trevin Bush. Bush thinks otherwise slight contact. Both go around. And the yellow flag comes out. As the field begins to roll once again toward that line in turn three and four, we'll see the green flag. Colin Haas brings us back to the green. Now here comes Pan Cam Paninski one more time. Paninski looked to the inside, down the front straightaway on that start. Dylan Subert in 1S gets a little out of shape. Now contact between the leaders. Cam Paninski takes the lead. We've got issues on the number 17 of Colin Haas as the yellow flag comes out. Will be Colin Haas as we will go back to green flag racing once again with Cam Paninski in 22 leading the way out of turn number four. Great start for the 17 of Haas. Haas goes from the back to third. That's plus four through turn one and two. Cam Paninski continues to lead now with five laps down and three to go. Haas right to the back bumper of Supert. Haas will get by. Give Colin Haas that second spot now. Colin on a mission back to that front as Cam Paninski tries to run away and hide with two to go. Excuse me, one lap remaining, one to go for Cam Paninski in 22. Through turn three and four, Cam Paninski will pick up the heat race win. Colin Haas recovers for second. Third will go to Dylan Subert. Colin Subert in fourth. Trevin Bush in fifth. Marshall Willing sixth. And Kennedy Clocus in the seventh spot. Freight is the backbone of the country. And as long as people need goods, they're gonna need somebody to get it to them. 
My name is Matt Ball with QualityFreightRate.com, powered by T-Force Worldwide. We provide LTL, truckload, and expedited freight services across this country. If your freight weighs over 120 pounds going over 120 miles, that's where my shipping rates kick in. We help companies ship easier for less. With our system, our customers are able to quote and book shipments with ease 24 hours a day, seven days a week. If you're having trouble with damages, lost freight, claims of any sort, we can help you with our experience, solve the problem, tell you why it's happening and what you should do to prevent it in the future. Me and my team have been together for over 20 years. We know this industry. We can help all size business, big or small, we love them all. But we have a special spot for small business. Small businesses are pillars in the community. Low rates are critical for a small business because the margins are generally pretty small. They need to have competitive rates. They can't be getting gouged or they lose the sale. Freight is simple. People make it difficult. We work as consultants in the industry, so it doesn't matter what your problem is, we'll solve it. We educate the customers, we solve problems, and we lower their shipping rates. And that's what I've been doing for 20 plus years.